Hi everyone, so in my last video I said this. Student grades here will be based on a combination of factors like homework, in-class tests and internal assessments. However, I have no doubt that this year we will see the return of the centre assessment grade, otherwise known as the teacher predicted grades. And then the following day, the Education Secretary Gavin Williamson confirmed to the UK Parliament that GCSE and A-level exams will be cancelled for summer 2021. Hate to say it, but my prediction was right again. However, I'm not here to gloat. I'm here to give you five tips on what you can do right now if your GCSE or A-level exams have been cancelled and you'll be receiving teacher predicted grades this summer. Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. So on Wednesday the 6th of January, the Education Secretary Gavin Williamson confirmed to the UK Department that GCSE and A-level exams will be cancelled for summer 2021 and that the grades will be based on teacher assessments rather than algorithms. This announcement was an important step in giving students and teachers reassurance on how grades will be awarded this summer. With this relatively quick announcement by the Education Secretary, students can now start to think about how they can plan effectively and manage their studies. In this video, I'll be giving you five tips on what you should be doing right now to get the best predicted grades this summer. Now, you may be asking, what qualifications do I have to advise you of what you should do? You're right, I don't have any right to tell you what to do. I can only give you friendly advice from a mature student who's studying mathematics, who has been in this exact same position last year in lockdown 1.0 and still managed to achieve the top grade in mathematics. So on to my tips. The first factor that you need to manage effectively is your attendance. In student speak, that means turning up for your classes and turning up for your classes on time. I know there's a lot of viewers from across the world who are watching my channel now and the rules may be different in your country. Whether you have face-to-face -face tuition or you have online lessons, it's important that you still attend them and be punctual also. For me personally, the speed of which my A-level mathematics course is going means that if I miss one lesson, I could potentially miss two or three different subject areas that would have been taught. Catching up is very challenging in mathematics, and I would assume that's the same for most subjects out there. So not only are there negative consequences on your attendance record if you don't show up for lessons, it will also impact your learning. Therefore, make sure you turn up for class, including your online lessons. The second thing that you should be doing is making sure you continue to submit your homework on time. I know it's challenging at the moment to access any support if you're finding homework difficult. However, it's important that the quality of your homework is now to a high standard. Before you seek help, it's also important that you learn how to help yourself first. Have you researched and access all the possible resources that may assist you? The great feature of studying mathematics is that it's a universally taught subject. So if I'm having difficulties with any particular question, I can just go on YouTube, type in the problem, and there will be multiple tutors from across the world that has a video on the problem and also may have solutions to it. So you need to practice being proactive when you encounter challenges in your homework if you can't get help from anyone because you need to continue to ensure that your homework submissions are to a high standard because they may be used to determine your predicted grades. It goes without saying that if you miss any online or in-classroom tests or mock exams then it's going to have the biggest detrimental impact on the awarding of your GCSE or A-level predicted grades. Most of us are in some form of lockdown across the world and can't sit any tests in the classroom. However, I'm sure that we will be sitting a test or mock exam at school soon after we can return. Not turning up for those tests or mock exams will have a detrimental impact on your learning because you won't pick up on any mistakes that you may have potentially made. Your tutors also won't have enough evidence to accurately predict your grades. 
It's only five to six months until the academic year is over and teachers may have even shorter before they need to submit your predicted grades. So it's incumbent that you build a good portfolio of work that can be used to base your grades on. So get yourself ready for those potential tests or mock exams, which segues nicely onto my next point. Your personal drive, focus and determination will be crucial to your predicted grades over the next few months and consequently your ambitions and dreams that you have for your future. So it's important that you remain engaged in your GCSE or your A-level studies and continue to work hard. I appreciate that we're not in the right environment that fosters social gatherings and our mental and physical health and well-being are being negatively impacted. One way that you can remain focused is to ensure that you have a stable timetable that you can follow so you can create a good study routine. With teaching migrating now to online, it's even more important that you are self-sufficient and motivated to follow a routine. Late starts and early finishes aren't going to help your chances in getting good predicted grades. So keep working hard on your dreams. My last tip, don't give up. As I said, we only have five to six months until the end of the academic year. We're not exactly in the home straight, but we're approaching that lane. You've all come so far in your studies and by giving up now will mean that all that you've achieved thus far will be a waste. It's important that you remind yourself of your dreams, your hopes and your ambitions for your future when you need some motivation. I appreciate that some students out there can't take any exams for the second year running. However, appreciate and understand how far you've grown over the last 12 to 24 months. You've become stronger and more educated in your field of studies and learned how to overcome disappointment. So don't give up on your dreams now. It's never too late to become all that you can be at whatever age or stage in your life. So everyone, you all need to keep your heads down, keep your chin up and keep studying hard. So those are my five tips. Manage your attendance, hand in your homework on time, turn up for tests and mock exams, remain engaged and focused on your studies and finally, don't give up. I'm pretty sure if you do these five things, you will get the predicted grades that you would have worked hard for. Have faith that you will be great and keep moving forward.